welcome back to The Space, a mindfulness podcast for everyone. Today we're talking about parkopresis. You might know it as poo anxiety. According to research, women are far more likely to suffer from poo anxiety. It sounds funny, but it's actually a very real problem. Poo anxiety can stop people from going on vacation. It can disrupt our workday. It can stop you from committing in a relationship. Experts say it falls under the umbrella of social anxiety disorder. It makes sense. It's all about what other people think about us and our bowel movements. PSA, this is a topic that is worth bringing up in therapy. It's not too silly, and there are ways to ease the impact. For now, we'll cover Poo Anxiety 101. It's time to challenge poo shame and lean into the worst case scenario. What are you worried might happen when you're going? Let's assume it's that someone will hear you or smell you. Okay, let's go down that spiral. In your mind, what's the worst thing that can happen? What's the most likely thing that will happen? What's the most uninteresting thing that could happen? Even if they did go back into your office and tell everyone, so-and-so just dropped a doozy in the bathroom, then what would it mean for you? We all poop. Can you think of a world where you could stop caring? According to experts, another way to ease poo anxiety is to practice relaxation techniques whilst you're going. Tune in tonight for a meditation you can try on the toot. For now, this is your permission to poo in peace, even when there's a gap under the doorway. The average woman produces over 12,000 kilograms of feces in a lifetime. We're all too worried about our own outgoings to worry about yours too. Space out.